So I'm decorating my bedroom and I wanted to add a bit of sparkle. So I'm going to redo this bedside cabinet and hope that it looks okay. I've lightly sanded it because I don't really think it needs that much. Uh, cleaned it all up so it's ready to go. I'm going to give it um, an undercoat and then I'm going to paint it in this and then the drawer I'm going to pick out with that as well so all being well it should look okay but I'll let you know when I've finished so this is the cabinet with the undercoat on. You can see it's not very thick. This is the drawer. I've left the rungs so that they'll still slide inside. Okay, so this is the first coat of the uh, paint, the cupboard paint, and I'm pretty pleased with that. It's uh, So it's just had the thin undercoat on top. It does need another coat, but I've painted everything. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. So we'll give it another coat. I want it to look really luscious. And I'll come back when we've got another coat on it. This is after the second coat of the metallic wardrobe paint. Really well covered now. I've done the inside of the drawer as well. So now I'm going to cover it with the glitter varnish just on the front and on the top and we'll see what that looks like when it's done. This is the finished cabinet. I have given it probably about four coats of the sparkle on it but you, to be honest you can't really see the sparkle that well. It has made it come up really nice in a nice finish. You can just kind of see it there with the sun shining on it. But I think just the paint that I used, the cabinet paint that was silver, was enough with a nice varnish over the top. Would have been more than enough. I've not sparkled the bottom, but you can't really tell the difference. I've not sparkled the sides. So... But overall, a nice finish from a plain, boring bedside cabinet. It's livened it up a little bit, so I am pleased with it. So we'll see what the next target is. Bye.